meet young people from Paris suburbs of Saint Denis to talk about sports at the rugby village as French hosts the Rugby World Cup. Saint Denis Basilica, where French kings and queens are buried. After the tour of Flower Market, King Charles and French President Emmanuel Macron will visit the site of reconstruction work for the fire raged Notre Dame Cathedral before they make a speech on protecting biodiversity. Charles and Camilla will then head to the southwestern city of Bordeaux on Friday where excursions will include a visit to an organic wine yard. After flames engulfed France's Notre Dame Cathedral in 2019, Britain's future King Charles III wrote to President Emmanuel Macron describing his heartbreak and offering his help and advice on the restoration. Now, more than four years on, the monarch tour France on a royal visit and inspect the site of the inferno that stirred memories of the blaze that swept through his own family's home of Windsor Castle in 1992. The trip will be filled with many such personal touches and moments of symbolism as Britain and France seek to rebuild ties tested by the bitter and chaotic years of Brexit. The 74-year-old king and the 45-year-old president will set out to build on a relationship already blustered by their communications over Notre Dame and their shared interests in climate and heritage, royal aides said. Charles and his wife Queen Camilla, guest of honours at the state banquet in the gilded Versailles Palace, the king a fluent French speaker like his mother, is keen to walk in the late Queen Elizabeth's footsteps and is likely to refer to his mother's deep affection for France official said. Britain's King Charles is set to continue his mother Queen Elizabeth's tradition of official trips in France. Elizabeth, who died in 2022, aged 96 after a 70-year reign, first visited France as the Britain's Queen in 1957, meeting then French President Henri Couty. Throughout the years, she met various French presidents in, in Paris, including François Mitterrand, and Francois Hollande. Elizabeth visited France 13 times during her reign, more than any other country in Europe, according to Buckingham Palace. On her first official visit in 1957, she had lunch with President Yanni Kuti in the Hall of Mirrors of the Palace of Versailles. The warm words and symbolic wizards will stand in stark contrast to some of the language exchanged on more political levels in recent years. Macron's hardball tactics during the talks to negotiate Britain's departure from the European Union had prompted angry outbursts by former Prime Minister Boris Johnson and withdrawal in UK tabloids.
Britain's role in negotiating a security pact between the United States and Australia torpedoing a multi-billion submarine deal the French had negotiated with Canberra left Macron seething and brought relations to a new low. John's successor as Premier, Liz Truss, initially said the jury was out on whether France was a friend or foe before settling on calling it a friend last year. Her successor, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, visited France in March to kick off what he called an intent renewed. The king is always very interested in the president's analysis of major international issues. An Elysee official said. They will also have plenty in common when they meet in Natural City Museum in Paris to discuss global warming. During the COP climate negotiations in Glasgow in 2021, Macron and the then Prince Charles worked together to raise funds for the Great Green Wall Initiative 